welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, let's see. So you've got a lot of jealousy going on around you over here. You've got that jealousy card. People are pretending to be what they are not. So people wearing a lot of masks, pretending to be your friend or pretending to support you and really saying a lot of nasty things behind your back. So just be careful of that. There's somebody that you're very, very attract attracted to on the work front here. You've got that card of sexual attraction. You may have been socializing with people from work and there's somebody that you're finding pretty attractive out there. Now you have been working pretty hard. You've got this diligence card over here, putting your head down and doing your work. Um, and maybe this is why people are jealous because you can get things done and uh, this has been inspiring a lot of jealousy. But you've been working long hours, putting a lot of effort into whatever you've been doing. Now, in the past, you've got the generosity card. So something has come your way. They might have been, you know, little gifts. So, you know, little things have been going your way, really. Uh, but you've, in a position where you have to make some kind of decision, there's some kind of choice or trying to find your a solution to some kind of problem that's causing a lot of confusion for you. So you're trying to sort things out, but that has caused a lot of confusion. And you're not quite sure what to do in this particular situation. Now, going to the future, it says you need to have some patience uh, and be very strategic about what you're doing right now. Uh, and that's going to be able to sort out problems. So just wait a little bit. Hang in there. It looks like things will sort itself out uh, because you've got that happiness card over here. There might be somebody around you that will give you that advice that you need to actually sort out whatever confusion you've been going on. So whatever confusion has been going on around you, uh, there might be somebody around you that's very, very supportive, very, very loyal, that will help you sort out these issues that you have been dealing with. Uh, but all in all, just have the patience. Uh, you know, things will start working out, but and be very strategic. Make sure that you're well planned up, very organized before you start doing things. And just be careful of people being jealous about you. Don't divulge information to them. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the zombie tarot, and that's the main read. Oops. Cards falling all over the place today. Okay, I have shuffled the deck. The bottom you've got judgment and this is talking about uh you know it looks like there's been some kind of big uh event that has happened at your work uh, situation you've got this big atom bomb falling a big explosion so it looks like uh there might have been some kind of um big traumatic event that happened some drama that happened over there that caused a lot of chaos and caused um you can see there's a big um mushroom cloud over there so it looks like something big has happened and it's caused you to actually think about changing uh, what you're doing right now or doing something completely different so some kind of big event causing a uh, you to reach some kind of a fork in the road a crossroads in your in your life where you are trying to make a decision to move in and do something completely different um, you know change the way you've been doing things in the past or even change your career path completely with this judgment card so a big choice a big change coming in for you there um, you've got the queen of cups over there and the three of wands so the queen of cups usually is somebody that is feeling very lonely feeling a bit despondent feeling a bit depressed looking to the past crying about it uh you know feeling very very emotional about whatever happened so there's been some kind of big event that has caused you to be very very emotional about things with that queen of cups you've got the three of wands over here so you have been working uh in a group of people with a group of people over there you've got that three of wands you can see them all working together trying to open this cave uh, this um, prison cell there and you can even see three people over there three women uh, celebrating so you have been working with uh, um, you know a group of people over there uh, maybe whatever has been going on with them has been uh, upsetting you in a sense um, with this Queen of Cups, because she, this woman is feeling very, very isolated, even though she's in a group of people. So you have been doing whatever you've been doing, you've been doing a lot of collaboration. 
but still feeling very isolated from the crowd of feeling isolated from everybody else and feeling very, very um, despondent. So you might be heading this team, but not feeling very, very much part of whatever this team is. And there's been some kind of big event that has happened that has caused you to rethink uh, what you've been doing in your career. Now, you've got the justice card of here, so you could be dealing with something official. You could have been dealing with some kind of, um, you know, maybe a legal issue or maybe something official within uh, your workplace over here. So this case has been pending for a little while over here. Maybe whatever that outcome of that case is, has caused quite a big um, issue. So whatever the... Because you, this is judgment and this is justice. So whatever that decision was for this legal case that you have been waiting for uh, has caused a big stir up, has caused a lot of drama for you, has you know changed the way you're looking at things. But it's also caused a lot of depression for you. It says that you have been victorious in it, though, with that six of wands over here. So the undead officially victorious over here. So it looks like, you know, there was a lot of battles that you fought. Uh, but whatever this case was that you were dealing with, whatever this official decision was, it looks like, you know, you have won in that situation. It has uh, been dragging on for a, little, a long time, really, and it has been... Uh, you know, it, it went in your favor, it seems. But whatever that outcome was now has caused you to rethink about, you know, what you you want to do next. So you're uh, reassessing things. Uh, maybe you want to leave this particular job behind and move on. So you've been dealing with some kind of case, and now whatever that outcome was, which has been uh, granting you some victory, has allowed you to now uh, rethink, uh, you know, your path, your career path and uh, maybe making that decision of moving on. You suddenly are feeling very lonely and feeling a bit depressed as well with that Queen of Cups over there. Feeling a bit isolated. So you want to end things in this particular job. You can see the World card over here. So there was some kind of big tra drama, big trauma that happened over here with the world being on fire there. And the world is the, um, you know, the last card in Major Arcana. So it's the ending of that particular cycle. And it looks like you want to end this job. It's a card ruled by Saturn. So it's the ending of that situation. And you want to walk away. You want to do something brand new, take a different route or take a, you know, follow a different path in life. Now you've got the Nine of Swords over here. So, you know, you are very, still feeling very, very anxious about things, expecting the worst case scenario. Probably not sleeping well at night, things being hidden from you. You'd, maybe you don't want to face these issues, but it's causing you a lot of um, upset, a lot of anxiety, and that's what you're going through at the moment. And it seems a lot of depression as well. So what's going on with you? You want to make a fresh start. You want to do something. Maybe you want to go back into teaching or you want to go and do some new course with that Ace of Cups. And you've got this woman's brain over here being activated over here. So maybe whatever you want to do with this judgment uh, card, um, you know, change path, change course, is maybe, uh, you know, maybe teaching or even maybe be going back to school. You want to change things around. Even though you have been victorious in whatever the situation was, it seems like you've had enough and you want to move on and make a fresh start. And there you go with the Ten of Swords. So it was something legal that you were dealing with, but it's now come to an end. There was It was a lot of problems, a lot of conflict. There was a lot of addictive behavior. Whatever that situation was, it made you feel very humiliated. It made you feel very unsupported. Uh, you can see that, you know, that this person's intestines are out over there. So it was something that caused a lot of anxiety. And that anxiety is still going on for you. So it's caused, uh, you know, a very traumatic uh, effect on you. And it's time, you know, you've decided now that you want to end it. So whatever it has been going on has come to an end. That situation is over. You have been a winner in it. But it's made you rethink what you want to do and it seems like you have decided that you want to move on you've got the seven of cups over here you're considering or weighing all your options over here uh you're thinking about all the things that you can do this is probably causing a lot of anxiety and stress this woman looks very stressed out so uh you know it is causing a lot of anxiety and stress over you, uh for you there with that seven of cups now the final outcome uh, uh is the devil card the fool card and the nine of hazards so you are still feeling very controlled, very manipulated, feeling very, very negative about the situation. This is a card that is ruled by Capricorn, the devil card. Uh, it is your card. You have been tied down to this job quite a bit. You've been working very, very hard. Maybe you feel very, very controlled. Uh, you don't have enough free time. And this is the reason why you want to change uh, the job. So whatever this decision was, it's now just caused you to look at things again and make that decision. And you're feeling very negative about this particular situation. And so you see, it looks like you're going to end it and move on. You've got that full card coming in over here. 
and he's taking his basket and he's moving on on down his pathway uh he's leaving the graves behind so it seems like the situation has come to an end for you and you are now going to make a fresh start uh and you've got that nine of hazards over here um so this is about you're going to you know you're still in that position about um defending yourself but uh, with the Nine of Hazards, this is the Nine of Pentacles, uh, it seems like if you make that decision and move on, it's going to bring you a lot of financial success and financial wealth over there. You can see this uh, store is progressing, you know, there's a lot of people coming over there uh, to this particular convenience store, and it looks like a lot of money will come your way. The Nine of um, Pentacles brings in money, brings in the recognition, and uh, it allows you to act independently as well. It gives you authority as well, and a lot of people recognizing your talents. So it looks like you're going to be leaving this whole situation behind. You can see this man's actually walking away from the devil card over there. That's what it appears to be, and walking towards this brand new job over here. You might be dealing with a lot of people in this new job uh, as well. It might be some kind of sales job as well that you're going to be doing. But it looks like it's going to bring in a lot of finances, a lot of wealth, and a lot of happiness, uh, a lot of independence for you. So whatever ha you've been going through, that situation is now over and done with, with that Ten of Swords. It caused a lot of anxiety. You're cutting your ties with whoever has been giving you grief, and you're going to be walking on and starting something brand new. Like I said, this might well be that you're going to be doing some further studying or, uh, you know, maybe even teaching as well. So maybe going back to school or maybe even becoming a mentor or a teacher. Uh, and it looks like, you know, you're still very, very stressed out about what happened, but you are making plans for the future uh, and you are going to be moving on. Because whatever you're doing right now is not making you happy. It's, it's stressing you out and it's also making you pretty unhappy as well. So a big change coming in for you, uh, a big turn of events here. Um, you know, whatever that outcome was, uh, it's made you uh, maybe realize that this job is not for you and you're going to be moving on. And so this is the fairy tarot for the uh, Oracle Read. You've got the Ace of Autumn. So this is a brand new job beginning for you. A windfall of money, advice or assistance from others, a very successful project, a happy change in your career. So you are being offered a brand new job over here. There could be a payout from this particular old job, but you will start something brand new. You've got the Unity card over here. So it looks like there's going to be a teaching role uh, available for you here as well. So do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see what works for you. Uh, so it looks like you might be taking on the role as a mentor or a teacher or somebody that trains up people. Uh, maybe that particular new job that you're doing is going to be involving that kind of thing. This is also about getting some advice uh, in order for you to move forward. And then you've got the Queen of Summer. So this is listen to your heart, into your in intuitive insights, taking care of others, perhaps too much. So you need to, uh, you know, look after yourself. The Queen of Summer is the Queen of Cups. She does tend to be a bit depressed, uh, you know, a bit unhappy, uh, feeling a bit lonely, uh, feeling a bit isolated, maybe too much in her head. Um, you need to get out of that energy and be positive. So whatever new thing is coming for you, it's a new uh, job, it's going to bring in new money and it's going to make you a lot more happier. And also this, you know, it's going to be taking uh, on the role of being a teacher or a mentor as well. So you're making a big change in your life. You're moving on to something brand new. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.